Daily Planet. I'm Yara Haridi at the Museum for Natrakunda, and I'm here to tell you a little bit about paleontology and more specifically paleohistology. So paleontologists don't just look on the outside of a bone, but we also sometimes cut them open and look at the structures inside to understand how bones work. So this is actually where I do most of my work. As a paleohistologist, I look at very thin sections of bone. They're so thin that I can shine light through them. And when I shine light, I can actually create images that are like these. This is a very, very thin section of very old fish bone. So what we can see here, if we zoom in, is that all these little black lines and all these little spaces are actually where cells used to live in this kind of bone. And these spaces are all we have left in fossils, but because these cells were so tightly bound to the bone, they're actually true representations of what these cells looked like and how they interconnected. Paleohistology allows us to look into the cells and into the bones of these animals, even in things that are over 400 million years old. And this shows us how they grew, how they healed, and how these cells changed through evolutionary history. Thank you, Daily Planet, and you guys can always follow me at Yara Haridi.